My name is Hi. My name is Vanden Patel. The book The Wars by the Canadian author Timothy Finley was read and studied in the course ENG for you. The book is about a young Canadian who gets enlisted into the Canadian Army. He takes on a grueling journey to France where the war begins. As the book unfolds, he has to put his loyalty on the line by disobeying his sergeant's wishes in order to save the animals he loves from the shellings of the Germans. Since the novel was published, the book The Wars has grown exponentially with its reputation. In 2005, Guy Vanderbehege has called The Wars the finest historical novel ever written by a Canadian. The portion of The Wars that I'll be talking to you about today is the gas attack launched by the Germans against the British soldiers. Tear gas of the battle in the battlefield was not extraordinarily effective. However, it opened the door to more harmful gases. The first gas used was chlorine gas and it was used by the Germans in 1915. Chlorine gas was a diatomic gas and it was about two and a half times denser than the air. The color of chlorine gas was pale green. High concentrations of chlorine gas can react with water in the lungs to produce hydrochloric acid leading to death. During the war, 5,000 soldiers were killed in the first large-scale attack in the Second Battle of Ypres. However, chlorine's effectiveness was short-lived as the British found out that urine cloths work effectively to help save soldiers against the toxic harmful gas. The poem I'm reading to I'm, I'm about to read is from Wilfred Owen, a Canadian soldier who would write about his experiences at war in a poem. The poem's title is Dulce et Decrom A. Bent double like old beggars under sacks, knock kneed, cuffing like hags, we curse through sludge till on the hunting, haunting flares we turned our backs and towards our distant rest began to trudge. Men marched asleep. Many had lost their boots but limped on, bloodshod. All went lame, all blind. Drunk with fatigue, deaf even, even to the hoots, of tired outstripped five nines that dropped behind. Gas, gas, gas! Quick, boys! In ecstasy of fumbling, fitting the clumsy helmets just in time, but someone still was yelling out and stumbling, and floundering like a man in fire or lime, dim through the misty plains and thick green light, as under a green sea I saw him drowning. In all my dreams, before my helpless sight, he plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. If in some smothering dreams you too could pace, Behind the wagon that we flung him in, and watched the white eyes, writhing in his face, his hanging face, like a devil sick of sin. If you could hear, that every jolt, the blood come gargling from the fourth corrupted, corrupted lungs, bitter as a cut of vow, incurable soul, source on innocent tongues. Wilfred Owen used several poetic devices to construct this poem. The first poetic device we can see is the rhyming pattern. A rhyming pattern is used almost every other line in this poem. An example is seen in the line fitting the clumsy helmets just in time and also two lines below and floundering like a man in fire or lime. Along with alliteration, a rhyming pattern is seen a few times within this poem. One example is seen in the line, If in some smothering dreams you too could pace, and watch the white eyes writhing in his face. 
This is an example of an alliteration, but in repetition. It is seen in the line as under a green sea I saw him drowning, and two lines below he plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. In this example, you can see that the last word is drowning and is used twice between both the lines. Along with the repetition and the rhyming pattern, similes can also be seen in this poem. The first simile that is seen is in the line and floundering like a man in fire or lime. The simile is used so Wilford Owen could describe the man who didn't have his gas mask on reacting to the chlorine gas. Along with the similes, there are several amounts of, vis of imagery used within this poem. The first form of imagery that is seen is nature imagery, and it is seen in the line as under a green sea I saw him drowning. Another imagery that is seen is in the line come gargling from the froth corrupted lungs. As furthermore, in that line auditory imagery is seen as well. Timothy Finley and Wilfred Owen both use a significant amount of Im imagery when describing the gas attack by the Germans. One of the reasons they may do this is to give an idea to the reader on how effective and how deadly chlorine gas was on the opponent. In the poem and in the book The Wars by Timothy Finley, there's a similarity seen as the man who doesn't put on his mask ends up drowning and in the wars Robert's some of Robert's men are drowning in the water as they can't swim. This can be seen in the wars where Robert and his in the quote Robert and his men began to struggle to the edge with the man who could not swim. Furthermore, in the book The Wars, the wep the Robert's gun is is a form of symboli symbolism. Robert's weapon symbolizes power or authority over others. Robert uses his gun by violently shooting it in the air in order to restore order among the chaos between the men. This can be, see, be seen in the quote where one of the men began to run. Wilfred Owen wrote this poem as his poem was about his own personal experiences as a soldier. He wrote about the power or physical the power of physical, moral and psychological trauma that it had on the soldiers like him in the First World War. Thank you for watching.